Hi, welcome to this demo of IBM Spectrum Protect Plus online services for Microsoft 365. This is a new offering in our Spectrum Protect portfolio, and it provides data protection for Microsoft workloads, including your Exchange Online, OneDrive for Business, SharePoint Online, Teams, Microsoft 365 Groups, Project Online, Public Folders, and Yammer. It does this with unlimited automatic incremental backups that can be set to run up to four times per day. And then of course, on the reverse side, it offers granular restores that can be done in place or out of place. And you can do these restores and filter on things like content type, owner, date, and so forth. You can also restore to a file system or export as a PST. Now this SaaS offering, Software as a Service, is licensed in two ways. The first way is you utilize the IBM Azure storage and we'll do the backups out to that Azure blob, or you can license it to bring your own storage and then use your own Azure storage licensing S3, SFFT, or Dropbox. This is a per user per month license and it is a separate PID. It's not part of our protect or storage suites. So with that, I'd like to go ahead and turn it over to Dominique to give you a short demo of this new offering. Hello, I'm Dominic muller -Wicki. I'm one of the Spectrum Protect portfolio architects and I want to show you a short high-level demo on our new IBM Spectrum Protect Plus online services for Microsoft 365. To access the portal, just go to spponlineservices.ibm.com and log in with your Microsoft credentials. The credentials you use must have Microsoft 365 tenant owner permissions. After you have successfully logged into the service, the wizard that is shown on this screen here will pop up. This wizard will guide you to all the basic settings you have to do to enable IBM Spectrum Protect Plus online service. First, you need to create an app profile, which is used to connect the service to your Microsoft 365 tenant. After you click on create, you have to log in to your Microsoft tenant and have to confirm that all the permissions that are needed for the app profile can be set. This creates an app profile. The app profile is used to connect to the Microsoft APIs and to backup and recover your data. For some of the APIs, a service account is used in addition. So just go to this area in the portal and create a service account. With this, your basic configuration is nearly done. The only thing that's missing is a scan profile that's used to scan your Microsoft data and identify the candidates for the backup. To just try the functionality, you can use the express mode scan profile and just enable mailbox, OneDrive and SharePoint. Then you enter a name and a description for a scan profile and just click on save and run. Now your basic configuration and settings are done. In the next step, you want to go to the portal that is used for Microsoft 365 protection. Just click on the link and you will be redirected to another browser tab. In this portal, you will land on this homepage here. And in this homepage, you can see all the different sources that are protected. And if you click on one of these setting buttons here, you can see how to change the backup frequency. The default value is four, so four times a day, and you can change the start time here. You can click on more details and can see more information about your backup jobs. Furthermore, this portal is used for the recovery. So just click on the restore. Then you can do a global search or search by type. So let's try a search by type here, because I want to restore a single mail out of one of my mailboxes. I'm going to exchange online. Then I'm doing a keyword search here, searching for 
on the next. So I find my mailbox. Then, as you can see here, I could now just click on my mailbox and do a restore of my mailbox, or I could do an export of my mailbox to PST format. But if I want to restore a single mail, I can just jump in here into this drop down menu and say I want to search a single mailbox item. Now new fields will be enabled and you can specify a subject you are looking for, a sent from or a sent to or a date sent. Just do a search. As a result I can see all my mails that are in my mailbox. Now I can click on one of multiple of and just click on the restore. I can specify if I want to restore to the original location or the data to another location. I can specify if I want to append or override the mail that I restore. And when I finish this configuration, I just click on next and I restore my mail. As you can see here, the portal will tell you that the restore job was started. To verify if the restore job is running or has completed, you can go to the job monitor area and see here detailed information about all the jobs that have completed before or that are currently running. With that our short demo ends and I encourage you to have a look at other videos that will be available that go deeper into the functionality and describe in more detail how this portal works and how it can be used. Thank you for listening.